2015 Chevy Tahoe with a 5.3 liter V8. I uh, got stranded today. Ran into some misfire issues. Put the scan tool on it. Got a cylinder number three misfire. So we're going to sit here and look at how to fix it. All right, had the scan tool run a scan on it. And we're in the P300 general misfire code right there. Shows right there 2015 Chevy Tahoe. I'll scroll way down here. And other codes going on. And right there. And see? Cylinder 3 misfire detected. So that's it right there. If you click on it, common solutions ignition coil, spark plug, spark plug wires, fuel injector intake manifold, and engine camshaft. So spark plug and ignition coil are pretty common. Uh, this vehicle has 144,000 miles on it. I know I did plugs and wires at 80,000. So not thinking plugs and wires are the thing, but it's very possible. But we're going to start with the coil packs and go from there. So what we do is down here at the engine bay, I pull the cover off, all it is, it just pops on. So you just remove your dipstick, uh, remove your dipstick, remove your fuel oil cap, and remove your vent hose. It just pulls right off because it's just on these three little studs right there. And these things right there are the coil packs. Number three misfire is this one right here because it's one, three, five, and seven. On the other side is two, four, six, and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So number three is this coil pack right here. So all we're gonna do is simply disconnect it, move it. I'm gonna go forward just because it's simple and easy and see what happens. So you got this little red tab right there. You pull up, that's the safety release. So you can push it in and pull that out. Pops it out just like that. And then spark plug wire, you pull right off the bottom and two bolts right there, two bolts. Every coil is the same. So we're gonna disconnect it, unbolt it, swap them, and then start it up and run a diagnostic test again. What that does is now, if my misfire moves to cylinder number one, and I no longer have a misfire in cylinder number three, that tells me that that coil pack is the problem. So that's the poor man's way of testing it. You don't have to have a big fancy scan tool like mine. You can do it with a very, very cheap 20 and $30 ones. It just says engine misfire and what cylinder it is. That's the way to tr track which one it goes from back to back. You don't have to have fancy test scan tools. You don't have to have fancy, fancy testers to test coil packs, things like that. It can be done with just a ba very basic scan tool. Um, if the coil pack is not the problem, next thing down the line will be, I'm just gonna move spark plug wires. They're there. Pull it off the plug, just switch it over and just see if this, if it moves or not. If it doesn't move, next thing be is pull spark plugs out. Pull that spark plug out, check it, just look at it, do a visual inspection to see if it looks bad at all and see if there's any problems with it. If it doesn't look bad, I'll swap it with that one and see what happens if the misfire does move, then I know it's it. If it doesn't, then I gotta look at injector problems. So, and that'd be the next step. So we're gonna swap the coils, see what happens and go from there. All right, so we're back at the scan tool. It showed cylinder number one. It started jumping up before, because cylinder number two is at zero. And now cylinder number three is at zero, zero. So, that showed all my misfires moved up to cylinder number one. Obviously, it's not doing any more right now because engine's off to be able to shoot this video in the garage. But that showed our our misfire does move to cylinder number one. It is the coil packs. So you're going to replace them one by one. That is an option. But the way I look at it is if one's going bad, the rest are probably following suit here pretty soon, and when they go, you have major problems. On the dash, the check engine light will start uh, flashing at you, your traction control will kick off, and you're kind of dead alongside the road again. So, I recommend just doing them all. It sucks, hate to spend the money, but 
it helps to keep going and gives you some peace of mind that knowing that they are good to go 144,000 miles on this vehicle to be good for the rest of its life if anyone's interested in what tools were used for this job we have a scan tool obviously you don't need a high-end expensive one this is a solace edge bought it nine years ago in 2015 it, it's been a great tool for me i update it all the time but if you don't have four thousand dollars invest in a tool and then the updates to follow the cheap 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 stuff that you find like harbor freight amazon special anything like that you find online that reads obd2 gives you basic diagnostic trouble codes is going to be your best friend in today's day and age it's just worth having Beyond that, we have a 3 s driver ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. Just to get the bolts out, nothing too crazy, nothing fancy. You can do it with a wrench if you want to. Yeah, nothing too crazy, just 10 mil. And then I had a pocket screwdriver to pop up the red safety tab on the coil packs just to get that off easier. You don't need it, but it helps to have it. So really, three things, solve the job.